Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I, in real time, install Magic Lantern onto my Canon 550D. If any of you don't know what Magic Lantern is, just imagine turning your 550D into the best video camera in the world, where you can change the bit rate, you can add zebra, you can find bits which are tells you what's in focus, what's not in focus. Um, you can totally control the audio and everything like that. And what it is, it's a software which is actually on your memory card, not necessarily on the camera. So first of all, I'd say make sure your camera is at the most recent update level, um, which I think is 1.09. Anyway, here's how I'm going to uh, upload and install Magic Lantern onto the camera, which is actually on the memory card. So I'll stick the memory card into the computer. Now, what to do is, uh, first of all, check the memory card is empty and app box, this has got stuff on it. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to format it in the camera. Um, the important thing is format it in the camera because that properly does it and make sure you do a low level format. So I'll just take that out. And to do a low level format, go into the first uh, little screwdriver option and go down to format and make sure you click on the low level format there. Click OK and let that sort that out. OK, and while I'm putting this stuff onto the memory card, uh, I'm going to make sure that my battery is fully charged for the camera because you always want to make sure that the battery is fully charged especially when installing any firmware or illegal, well it's not illegal, I think it's a, a shareware software. So uh, let's go and check the internet for Magic Lantern firmware. Okay, and as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of videos showing you how to do it all. And the most recent one is for, yeah, so you've got different ones for the Canon 5D, but this is for my 550D, and this is for firmware 1.09, and this is Magic Lantern 0.2. Uh, and what to do is, how do, where do I get it? Let's see which one I download. See, this is a dangerous pre-alpha install. Or updated builds, look here. So that's what I'm going for. Now, config menu shortcut bug fixes. So the 22nd of March, that was very recent. In fact, that was just three days ago. So I'm gonna click on that. And as you can see here, it says Magic Lantern, uh, 22nd of March, audio, blah, 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 download. So on my Mac, now this is where it's different for PC and people, uh, there's different rules and regulations or things that you have to do. So Magic Lantern, open it. Now you've got this bin, uh, I'll just, oh, uh, come back. So... Install Magic Lantern, FIR, blah, 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 all these different things. Uh, if you just want to get this, you can pretty much just go to the install PDF and this will tell you exactly what you need to do. Uh, I'll give you all the warnings. Warning, this will kill your camera. It probably won't. Um, and yeah, so let's just go through it all. So the first thing that you pretty much just want to do is take your Magic Lantern fur and stick that into the memory card. I think, let me just double check that. I just drag this and we're just going to drop it onto my EOS digital thing. And that's all that you do the first time. And I think that now you just take it out and stick it into your camera. So I'll just drag that out. Um, okay, now with the fully charged battery into the camera, turn it on, uh, click on the menu. Go to the whichever screwdriver option it is and go down to firmware, press set. Current version is 1.09, which is Canon's thingamabob, but it's got update. You just go along to click OK. And now it's saying firmware update. Okay, that's it. Don't do anything now. All you need to do is turn the camera off and take the memory card back out.
So that's part one. So now the memory card is back in to the uh, computer. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, and this is where you really need the, uh, the install PDF to help you out here. Because what you need to do is you need to make the memory card bootable, uh, which I still don't quite understand myself. Um, and here is software. Make bootable is a script. Yeah, I just want to open it. Okay, so on the script here, uh, you've got to figure out the bit that you need to change. So change this. Dev, div, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that means, but we need to change that. And to find out what we need to change that to is we go and get this. Hold up. So disk util list. I'm going to copy, control, or command C. And now what I need to do is I need to open up a thing called terminal, uh, which again, Mac, I just don't understand what terminal means, but thanks a lot. Uh, now where do I find that? That is in utilities, I think. And here it is. So it's this strange looking one here. Double click on that. And at last login, blah, 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 Dom Bowers Mac. Okay, all I need to do is control V, disk utility list, and it comes up with all this crap. So I'm like, ooh, wow, what does that mean? I don't know. Um, but what we can see is my eight gigabyte uh, SD card is this one down here. And what we need to do is copy the identifier. So again, I totally understand if you're totally confused about this, but just kind of believe me, this is what you have to do. And copy over that and then copy. Now what we do is we go back into the whew, disk uh, make bootable part and we take out this part here. So just press delete and press command V. And that's all you need to do, but there's still another bit here. So what you need to do is copy everything that's in this. Uh, so command C, no, command A, that's what you need to do, then command C, so that's all copied. And in the terminal bit, you put it in again. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> oh, ah. uh, you go back into this, and uh, I think I'll just make a new one. So new window, basic, I think, yeah. And then command V, and it's done something. And you'll notice over here, my memory card has disappeared. So that's that's it done. That's what it's meant to do. It's it's what it's called unmounted the memory card. So now we can close that, close that, and we'll keep that up as well. But we can close that. Do I want to save it? Uh, don't save. Okay. So now we just take the memory card back out, and now we put it back in. I don't know why. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it, but now we put it back in. And now we start to put the files onto the memory card, uh, and we put it onto its first layer of memory cards. So uh, the first things that we, well, what it says is you're meant to bring in the auto execution bin, uh, stick that along with the p, not the PDF, but the other like the crop marks. I don't really know if we if you need to put them in. I'm not a big fan of putting them in. So this time, I'm not going to use them. So I'm just going to drag and drop uh, this onto the memory card. Make sure I don't put it in the DCIM uh, folder, just on the actual memory card. That's it. And I also need to delete the Magic Lantern FIR file out. So bring that, and I stick that into the trash. And that's it. So there's a Romo bin. Don't remember putting that one in. And... There's a log, but auto execute. Yep, that's pretty much it. <coughs> and now just drag it out of your uh, out of your memory card reader. Okay, and now we'll stick it back into my camera. Stick it into the camera, and fingers crossed this works. Okay, so let's see how well this goes. If we turn it on, let's take it around to the video function. Press the red button, fingers crossed. It's black. Okay, you can see stuff. 
Let's press the... Ah, yes! So when you press the uh, normal bin would be your dumping of stuff, uh, your deleting button, that now brings up all the cool stuff. Uh, one of the cool things is the audio meters. Oh yeah, I'll be having them on. Uh, audio gain, uh, our analog gain, 23 decibels, yeah, that's really fine. Uh, digital gain left and right, no. Uh, auto gain control off, I'm having that off. And uh, all the other stuff, yeah, not really important. Live view, uh, global draw, let's have that on. Um, zebras, histogram, wave, luma, RGB, yeah, having that. False colours, probably not going to bother doing that. Uh, you can have it, so it's always on. So if we, look, look at that, makes everything really cool. And if you have everything really dark, it goes purple and black. If you have everything kind of really bright, it goes all mental that way as well. So that's false colours. Um, and to bring up the file back up again, you just press the uh, delete button here. Uh, so I'll turn that off. Uh, crop marks, not using that. Spot meter, not using that. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, magic zoom, yes, we'll be using that. So that means now, if I am, um, say, trying to find a bit that's in focus, see this bit over here, if I now press the zoom button, nothing happens. Oh, wait, that's because I've got to be recording. So if I'm recording, and I now press the zoom button, we've got this bit up the side here, so we can properly see how in focus it is, which is just amazing. You've got the RGB screen here and you've got the sound detectors up here as well. Uh, so obviously, even with me speaking quite loudly, it's not going up very loud, so I probably want to add some audio gain. So I'll stop it. But you can actually change it while recording as well. So I can be recording and I can go into the menu and I can go to the audio and let's say we give some additional gain up by six and six, and now you can see it goes up. And if we were to turn, uh, auto gain control on, you'll see that the green bits really start going up to the red because uh, Canon just makes it a lot of a noisy camera. And even when there's no noise, if you can see that there's still these green lines coming up, which just means it's just making this noise. So it's totally disappeared, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other things. If you've got like proper working lenses, you can do it so it does automatic zooming in videos and all this kind of stuff for you. Um, another cool thing, which uh, spy prop. Ooh, don't know what that one is. There's new things coming in this all the time, which makes it amazing. Um, exposure, yes, now I've got the proper white balance. I can change it in terms of Kelvin. So I can go all the way up. If I press Q, it goes auto. So yeah, it sorts out for me and it tells me the exact K that is meant to be going at. And I can change it step by step by step by step by just pressing set. Amazing. Also the ISO, I can change that as well. So I can do that up in fractions, uh, which is really quite cool. Again, click auto and it's doing it in you know, 1750. You never normally get that choice. Uh, so that's really cool. And let's see other stuff. Uh, shutter, oh shutter speed, you can change the shutter speed so it's 50th, 53, 57, 60, 67, 75, 80. So you've got all these more options, it's just really, really cool. Um, and again, it's still got that kind of zoom that can go in. Oh, now I want to show you the really cool thing, uh, if you can see in this, is a thing where it shows you what is sharp. What is it called? It is trap focus? I don't think it's that. Motion detect off. Ooh. Now I think it's called focus peak. So if we get rid of this, and uh, let's say we get rid of the zoom. Yes. Now what you might see is that bits which are coming into focus, let's see. Oh. Things which are coming into focus uh, now get these cool lines around them. And I've done something so it's now taking a photo every time there's some motion. Ooh, ooh, I didn't even know how it was doing that. So there, nothing. If somebody walks past it, think of that. That's amazing. I don't, ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of things for me. I'll hold it still. Oh, I got that. Anyway, yeah. So lots of things for me to figure out how to do this. 
the the main thing will turn you off. The main thing is uh, whenever you are deleting stuff off your camera, you don't do the format. You know, you just do delete every image. But yeah, so that's oh, that's so much fun. I'm going to learn so many new things on that just now. Um, so I'm going to spend the next four hours figuring out what those new things are. But I love that motion detect. So effectively now you can have your camera just sitting there. And if somebody walks past, it'll take a photo of them. It's like a security camera now. Wow, amazing. Uh, okay, so anyway, I highly recommend lots of people download Magic Lantern if you can. I hope that helps. Cheers, bye-bye.